Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3 month lead and tin. I'll start with LME 3 month lead. It is comforting to see, even after the falls in mid September, that the market is still keeping within the broken May to October 2020 bullish shift pitchfork. Prices had since August moved down from the upper time, currently 24.28, through the middle time, currently 22.58, plus down through the now flatlining medium moving average, currently 22.53, and the 50% Fibonacci line of the June to October 2018 move at 22.21, such that they ended up last week testing the also flatlining long moving average below, currently at 21.45, and also the 50% Fibonacci line of the February 2018 to March 2020 move at 2128. In all that time, we have still kept within the bullish shift pitchfork by the aberrations on the top side back in late July and early August. Indeed, early August to date has seen the market form a bearish halfway hesitation, which reached its target last week in the 2170 area. I didn't bother the market on a daily chart last time. Question now is, what's next? You see, if prices continue down here, then we will most definitely have a no monthly key reversal, as we have seen in other metals. Yet the market seems reluctant to press further down or to move back up as well. The top side has resistance at 21.86 and then the 50% Fibonacci line at 22.21. Meanwhile, on the downside, Beyond the long moving average, we have the 50% Fibonacci line of February 2018 to March 2020 move at 2128, plus a shallow, narrow two point uptrend currently at 2125. And only then do we reach the lower time currently at 2088. Realist- realistically, it's not that far away, but there seems a reluctance to test it right now. Yet it is as I said last week, and I quote, Until that lower tine is broken, the shallow, gently bullish shift pitch will run this market. But that may be sooner than many think, if we are not too careful. End of quote. So caution. LME 3 month 10. I've been repeating this here again and again for months. The overall bullish incentive is still alive, well and strong here. This was and is because the original move back up which started back in March and then translated to a higher level in April was due to prices moving up over the middle time, currently at 34,885 of the January to March bullish shift pitchfork. Prices even finally reached up and over the upper time above, which is currently at 37,270, but has since come back within the folds of this bullish pitchfork. In all this time, this bullish pitchfork had and has driven prices higher. Admittedly, in all the while, this while, no market can head in one direction all the time. I get you. I give you that. I really do. As in August, specifically on the 19th of August, the market made a major correction lower. Yet this did not break the bullish incentive, as prices were still within the bullish shift pitchfork, ably supported this time by the lower time, currently at 32,505, as well as its partner for a few months now. The rising media moving average, currently 32,560. The second test lower in early September we saw was enough to trigger a strong move higher. Last week up through the middle time, currently at 34,885, and peaking a little under the upper time. Now this happened at the end of last week, and yesterday it looked like we may have, well, we might have peaked with a possible two-day over the weekend possible pipe top pattern. Meanwhile today, well, we've had a bit of a reactionary move back up with what looks right now like a bullish opening white marabozo and bullish thrusting pattern type. And we haven't closed yet, so just keep an eye on that. This brings me to my final point, which is a repeat of part of last week's and the previous time's commentary. It is this, and I quote, it can be hellish to rely on only one pattern because it can be hellish when it breaks. Oh, and before I forget, there is currently no chance of either a monthly key reversal here, 
nor of an outside month, end of quote. And that sums it up, just about. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.